In the previous video, I set up the ram pump uh, along the flume here, and so now it's time to get a height test to see just how high I can get water to. So I've got uh, a garden hose set up down here on the end of the pump, and now I'm going to run up to 500 feet up the hill here. So let's go install that hose real quick. I've got 300 foot of hose hooked up here. And I'm gonna walk it up the hill and uh, we'll give this a test first. And believe it or not, this may not be enough back pressure to keep this pump going uh, wide open. So we'll just have to get up here and see uh, what we have. May have to add uh, another hose. And I've got 500 feet total um, to get up here. So we'll see just what we get. Now I'm kind of expecting this to at least reach up here to the tree line, so that's where we'll go at first. 300 feet was just enough to make it here to this trough that I made. So now we're gonna head back down here and see what happens when we turn the pump on at this point. Okay, I'm gonna get the pump going here, turn it on. And um, so there's no pressure here in the tank yet, so I've gotta get that primed should take but a second. There we go. All right. So when I open this valve, it's going to stop. Okay. And that's because all the pressure was released out of here. So I got to pump this enough times to get back pressure going in that 300 foot of hose, which actually might take a minute or two. So I'll come back when this is going. Okay, it's right on the verge of the pressure, so I like to use a stick. Kind of helps, uh, so you can stand up while you're doing this. So I'm gonna let this click a few more times, and we'll go see if water is coming out the other end. Let's see what we have up here. Yeah, it's definitely coming out. So, there we go. Not bad. So I'm gonna add another 100 foot of hose and see what we get after that. So I've got this extra 100 foot tied in. So, from right down there, I'm thinking gains another six foot of elevation here. So let's see what our output is at this point right here. It's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, nice. I think it's time for another 100 foot because we've got another uh, four or five feet of elevation to gain. Um, so let me hook that up and we'll see how much higher we can get. So this makes 500 feet of hose. Let's see what our output is up here. This is all the hose I have, so just have to go with it. Seeing some pretty good results. Wow, impressive. Definitely enough to fill a couple hundred gallons of storage to water the garden down there. So let me get uh, something to measure this with and we'll see what we're getting up here. So I've got this water bottle that is 20 ounces and I figure what we can do is See how much of this is filled in uh, a minute, and then calculate to see what the gallons per minute is. So let me see here. All right. I'm really impressed with this uh, flow up here, because uh, 500 foot of hose is uh, a lot of hose, so I think uh, we'll be pleased watering the garden from this high up. And when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> All right, 25 seconds.
40 seconds and stop. All right, let me do some math real quick. So by my calculations, that's a gallon every 4.6 minutes. So I think that's gonna be plenty enough to fill up about 110 gallons worth of garden water. So very pleased with the results. And I may install a check valve halfway through that 500 foot of pipe to um, maybe increase this just a hair. But that'll be for another day. Thank you for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. Now do remember that I sell these hydraulic ram pumps at landthehouse.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.